welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green, uh, to kick off another show, 60 minutes here. So unfortunately, the call log is down again tonight, and um, I really don't have any control over that. So we're just going to have to do everything through YouTube in some way. We'll just do the best that we can. I will take calls possibly on my business number. So if people want to call in, they can call in on my business number. Um, but to start the show off, please remember, don't get scammed. I never reach out to anybody. Um, hey, Sally. Hey, Miss Jules. Hey, uh, first name, last name. It's so good to see all of you here. Um, I'm going to start off with, I, I am here every, um, every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central and I do private readings. Um, so if you ever want a private reading, you can go to my website and all of the information is there. So we're going to start off with names tonight again. This could be the name of a loved one, one of your loved ones, or your name, one of your loved ones on the other side, your name, or somebody you all know. So I'm going to start off Benvenito before I even finished my statement. How about that? Benvenito is the first name. Uh, Jorge. Um, the next name is... Maria, the next, and then we have um, Juanita. Boy, these are a lot of exotic names tonight. <laughs> so I guess that's good. Um, the next name is uh, John. The next name is Mary. Okay, I'm just going to leave the names there because those are just a lot of um, different types of names and they were coming in kind of staggering. So I'm going to go to questions and I don't, I don't um, unfortunately have a uh, call in. If somebody would like to call in, please just say, I'd like to call in. I'll give you the number and then you can call and I'll be happy to do that for you. Okay, Sally wants to know, I left and moved back in with my mom and left without my BF knowing because I felt he kept me back a lot. Should I reach out to my BF Noah after no contact? Um, who, um, no, I'm, I'm hearing no. So here's the thing. Sometimes I feel like we need to explain ourselves or we need to explain why we chose what we chose. And the message I'm getting here is he knows. He knows what happened. He knows why. Just, and the bigger thing I'm hearing is don't go back. Just let this be. Like the statement they're using is let sleeping dogs lie. Just let it be. Move on with your life. The next time, it should be somebody brand new, not somebody from the past, and not your ex. Um, giving somebody new an opportunity will be much healthier than allowing another cycle of the same thing with your ex. Okay, that's what I'm hearing for you. Uh, Sally, I hope that's helpful. I'm going to go to... Um, the next question, and I am going to take the, the questions in order. And again, if you'd like to call in, let me know. And Amber is going to be the first one to call in. As soon as I'm finished with this, Amber, I'm going to give you the number to call in so you can call in. Hi, Miss Tony. My boss is asking me to resign to another place next year. Should I accept my resignation? Is the other place within the company? And if it's within the company, Tell her you want a transfer, not a resignation. Okay. Um, that's exactly what I'm hearing. If the res if the if the place is 
within your company, tell her, no, let's do this as a transfer, not as a resign. I hope that makes sense. Terry, if you need more clarity, you can call in after Amber. Amber, the number is 414-897-2869. You can go ahead and call in. You're the next caller on. I was, I, you know, I was really going to do the price of right thing and I, I fumbled it. I totally did not get it right. Did not. Here it is. Okay. I'm going to put it on. on I'm going to try to. Did I? <laughs> I don't even know. Something just, okay, there it is. There we go. Hey, how are you? I'm doing well. How are you? I'm good. Thank you. If I can figure out the phone situation, I'm good. I'm just going to hold it here because it's okay. it's going to slide right off. So how, uh, how can I help you today? What's your question? So I just wanted to start off by telling you about some uh, validation that I had after the last reading. Okay. So I called in and you I had said that it was my mom's birthday recently and you came through with saying Gerber daisies. You oh. kept saying that and like roses, roses, roses. And it didn't click at first with me, but then I looked back on some pictures and the last birthday that we shared with her here on earth i got a specialty made flower cake that had all those flowers in it oh my and gosh <laughs> thank so, you yeah. thank you i love that so much thank you for that confirmation i absolutely love that thank you thank you You're so very welcome thank you that was beautiful <laughs> oh my gosh so how can i help you today love so um my aunt has also passed away and there is some stuff going on in regards to her inheritance like her heirs me and my siblings i feel like my other relatives are being a little shady so i just i feel like i just need some sort of confirmation of like where to go forward with it okay so the first thing i hear is like there the word isn't shady it's okay. yeah kaka <laughs> Yeah, you know, but the other caca word, um, <laughs> the adult caca word. Um, so do you mean, do you go to an attorney or do you just, to, if you confront them, they're going to be in denial and they're just going to be sneakier, shadier. Mm -hmm. Um, what I'm hearing is there should be a paper trail. The exact, the exact word I'm hearing is paper trail, meaning a will, a trust something okay that will state exactly how everything should be um and w what your aunt's last wishes were and you know i just have to say it's it's i cannot tell you how often in like in private session i get these questions because once somebody passes and the money's on the table it's like people don't care they're just ruthless just ruthless about things and i always say first gently ask hey not like you're asking for yourself but just like inquisitive so when if if she had children or who's ever taking care of it say so did she did she was she prepared did she prepay start with questions like did she prepay for her funeral because somebody who prepaid for their funeral oh girl they made a will there's no way and then the next question is if whether she paid for the funeral prepaid or not um, did she say how she wanted her, did she leave instructions on how she wanted her ceremony or her funeral to go, what she wanted, any requests, anything I can help with that? See how charming and good you're coming off? <laughs> Do you see how caring you're coming off? And then from there say, did, well, it, it, she did that then. 
did she also put her last requests like um you know did she put where she wanted everything to go also? Is there anything I can do to help with any of that? And so you're coming off in a way that's more, I want to be helped than, hey, you know, what about, what about us? So if there is paperwork and you're named in it, there's an attorney and if there is paperwork and you ask, can I, can I help in any way? Then from there, you'll know what your next step should be. Now, if I'm asking your aunt, did she create a will? Yes. Um, is, is everybody involved in the will? Is it like, did she, did she, did she leave things to everybody? I get a yes, um, but it's not, it might not be what you think. And is whomever is handling the will, are they going to be honest? Yeah, no. <laughs> are, they gonna, are they going to be forced to be honest? Yes. Okay, here's what I'm getting, love. Okay, what I'm getting is they're going to have to be honest. There are things they're not for the most part, okay? There are things they're not going to be able to uh, not, like, not do, okay? So for here's an example. For example, if if your aunt left you a pair of, you know, diamond earrings, they could easily say, we couldn't find those. Okay. Okay. Yeah. That's the for the most part. But if there was a money parcel, money being parceled out to different people or land or anything like that that's written specifically in there and they can't get away with not giving that. Now, if there was a specific amount of, let's say, money that should come to you and your siblings, that is written very clearly and they will have to abide by that. The only way around that is to say her expenses exceeded her amount that she left they're not going to be able to do that. So for the most part, other than personal possessions, like clothes, jewelry, yeah. things that, you know, they might, they really may not even know what's what, but maybe they do. Um, I feel like they are going to, they're going to have to be honest about the bigger things. Mm -hmm. So in that way, you won't have to worry. Like, for example, if they left a car to somebody, then that car has to go to that person. They can't sell that car and put it in the final a tally. You know what I mean? But I some, do, yeah. for some estates, what they do is they just try to sell off everything, come up with a final amount, and then do whatever they're going to do with it if it's not a clear cut assignment. Mm -hmm. I do feel like there are some very clear cut things in this will. Okay. Um, I don't know how helpful that is going to be for you. I do feel like something is going to come to you. Will it be everything your aunt wants you to have? No. Yeah. Okay. So, so yeah, we both get the same answer, yeah. <laughs> but it will be something. And, mm -hmm. you know, in the end, here's what I have been told from long, long, long ago. Um, if you're, let's just say, for example, your aunt meant to leave you a certain amount of money. That's the easiest thing. And you don't get the full amount. The universe will make it up to you because that was a contract that was an agreement and it will come to you. It may not come to you all at once, and but you won't have to work for it, okay? You won't have to work for it. It'll be something that will come to you um, 
either in increments and or all at once, and you will get that amount of money. Now, if they do give, say, oh, she wanted you to have this, say, oh my gosh, that's so wonderful. You know, as a memento, can I get a copy of the will? See, as far as I know, there is no will, according to my other relatives. That's, I don't know that that's true. Yeah. I don't know. Now, I'll, I'm going to tell you all something. I, and I'm, I'm, there was a person I know. I will not say who this person was to me because they're also on the other side now. Mm -hmm. And he was married to somebody and they, they divorced but they still lived together, but they divorced for financial reasons, but stayed living together. She passed first. She had a will, but he didn't like the way the will was set up. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. So, so no, no, this is, this is a beautiful story about, you know, dropping something on your own freaking foot. Mm -hmm. So he got rid of the will. He just destroyed it. Turns out because they were no longer married, nothing she had automatically went to him like he thought it would. It all then went to her parents who distributed it and left him with, gave him nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I shouldn't laugh at that. But that's the biggest case of F around and find out right there. Now, if if they don't present a will, it's it's going to be very difficult to have a case. But whatever they do, whether it be in this life or next life, it will balance out on them. Okay, it will. And that's, that's what you can know, but whatever's meant to you, it will come to you, even if it doesn't come through this. Okay, love? Okay, sweetie. Thank you. You are so welcome. You have an amazing rest of the day. Thank you so much for taking the time to call in also. Thank you so much. And for the confirmation. Of course. I just had to tell you. <laughs> I love that. Thank you so much. Thank you. You have a good rest of your show. You too. Thank you. Okay, let's take that off of there. I'm trying to manage things and like, not always the greatest at that, but we're going to make it work tonight. We're, gonna, we're just going to make it work. If anybody else would like to call in, please just type, I'd like to call in. I'll say the number again, and then I'll say your name and when you can call in. Um, here's one. Hi, Tony. I would like to find out why my uncle... My dad's younger brother sm smelled fishy after he passed away. I was told so by one of my Indian tribe friends. Thanks, Julie. Julie, I feel like he took something that he, he, um, he ingested something that like I, I'm hearing the word, I don't want to use this word. It's a, it's a very strong word. It could have been voluntarily or put on him, but it, it was something that like poisoned his system. Um, I, it, may, it was something that either A gave him whatever he, whatever was ingested, whatever was inside of him, either gave him a very bad, bacterial thing that caused the demise or just caused the demise. And that's why the smell was there. And that's why he, yeah, that's just why he smelled like that. Like I'm, I'm just hearing it was something ingested and that, and it, it should not have been, did he, did you know you ingested it? Did you know what it would do? No, he had no idea this would happen. Um, so yes, that's what I'm getting, Julie. I hope that's really, really helpful. I really, really do. Okay, I'm going to go to the next uh, caller, or not caller, <laughs> uh, the next question. Um, 
The next question is, dun, dun, dun. hi, Miss Tony, I applied for two new apartments that'll be completed in the summertime. Do you see that I get either one of them? Yes. Um, Olga, I hope you did your check on the areas, it, it, you know, driving through them at night just to see what the areas are like and how the energy feels to you in the evening. I always tell that to everybody, no matter what. I do feel like you should, um, I feel like you're going to get one of, if you get offered both, pick the one that feels the safest and most comforting when you walk in you feel peaceful even if it's not not completed yet when you're in that environment it just feels very peaceful to you that's the one you want to pick okay olga i hope that was very very helpful for you please um please keep that in mind and do do drive through in the evening time to see what it's like in the evening and make sure that energy maintains uh, the quality of energy that you would like for the evening time also, okay? Uh, Catherine wants to know, hi, Tony, how are you? I'm good, Catherine, thank you. I hope you're good too. Um, her question is, I'm thinking of job searching again. Do you see if it's a good time for me to do so? Um, and not so much. Um, I would wait if you can. Now, if you're really uncomfortable at your, at your present position, go ahead. It, and when I say not so much, what I mean is you might not get good, honest responses. Okay, so people who are serious about hiring or whatever. So if you wait until mid-October, November, that's when you will find something that suits you very, very well, very well, okay? Uh, so mid-October into November is a really good time. Now, if you put stuff out now, you might just get frustrated from not finding what you want and feel uh, it might help you to feel or make you feel a little um, helpless or not the best about um, searching. So what I would say is mid-October, November is what I'm hearing for you. I hope that helps you, my friend. Um, Miss Jules, did I already answer your question? I think you, I did. Um, I'm going to answer the other questions first because I usually do one question, but if I have time, I'll come back to your second question, Miss Jules. Um, okay, Terry T as a follow-up says, yes, it's a transfer. That's what I meant. Sorry, should I do the transfer? I'm not sure if it's good for me. Okay, um, yeah, the transfer is good. It will bring you, um, I'm hearing it will bring you profitability. Pro, prof, yeah, it'll be profitable. That's the way it's supposed to be said. It'll be very profitable for you and you'll be very happy with the transfer. You're gonna meet people that you kind of click with. You know, I, I hope that makes sense to you, okay, um, Terry? Nancy R, we're gonna do you next. If you guys could see the way I work these boards, there's only one tonight. I have absolutely no excuse. Um, hi, Tony. In the last year, my senses, including sound, sight, and touch, have become more acute, sometimes uncomfortable. What can be causing this? Thank you. So in my head... Right now, the reason I'm a little quiet is because in my head, I'm making sure I'm understanding that question the way you mean it. Um, it's, you're getting a little too much of something. You're, Oh, 
Okay. So what I'm getting is there's either something you're taking that is causing this. And I'm, I'm just going to use an example. I'm not saying it's this, okay? So like if you're doing too much caffeine, for example, I'm not saying it's that, it would cause this. It would cause that. So some, it's something you're putting in your body that is causing it, something that's causing you to have, it's like an overload of it, whatever it is, it's kind of an overload of it, okay? So I, I know you can now look at what you might be putting a little into your body a little too much. And I feel like, I, I want to just read this again. Sound, sight, and touch. My first, my first answer is neurological. I hear neurological, but it's not. I don't feel like it's a neurological, physical, medical issue. I feel like it's. I'm hearing it's something you're ingesting that's making it very sensitive, okay? So that, I hope that's helpful. I know your next question would be, what would that be? I don't really know right now. It's, I just hear consuming and ingesting. It's something you're consuming or ingesting. So it wasn't, I don't feel like it was a one-time thing. And because they're saying consuming, th th that would tell me, you know, how do we consume things? So I don't feel like it's a supplement. I feel like it's, is it a, maybe a food? No, a beverage. It might be a beverage, love. Something you're, <laughs> something you're drinking, <laughs> a beverage. Okay. Um, so it's, it's, uh, It's funny because sometimes like they, they literally, I'm just moving with them and then I realize what I'm doing just so you guys know. That's why I also laugh at it. Okay. That's why I also laugh at it. Okay. Juliana wants to know, hi, Tony, can you see me and my husband, Martindale? Awesome name. Getting back together. We've been together for 35 years, but stay in separate houses. Um, Juliana, can you do me a favor? Have you always lived? How long have you been living in separate houses? I'm going to scroll down to the bottom so you can answer that. Um, I do feel like you will. It's going to take a minute before the two of you get there and move back into move back to the same home there's a certain amount of comfort in this um for One or both, I hear both of you, but at least one of you has a certain amount of comfort in the, I'm going to just use this word, in the peace of living kind of separately. Three and a half years. Okay. I think it's going to be a bit of time before you two move back together. Um, and I think... You both kind of want it, but you both feel like it might be more peaceful to be living apart right now. Like there's a certain amount of peace that comes with this se separation, this living in different quarters. So, um, 
but by the time you two do come back together, when when you two do come back together, there will be that peace will be there also because some things be some things may change by then is the best way I can say that. Okay, I'm gonna go back up to this one so I can stay answering everybody's questions in the right order. Hey, Amy, how are you? Okay, um, Stephanie S. wants to know, um, hello, Tony, do you see me getting the job in SF and making the move from New York City? Will it be a good move for me? Um, Stephanie, give me a second. Is she going to move? I'm just asking questions right now. So um, I'm sorry I'm not asking them out loud, everybody. So, um, so I do feel like you are moving to San Francisco. I feel like the move will be comparable or compatible in some ways to New York as far as certain things like cost of living will be comparable. Um, you'll, you're going to love the weather um oh sorry everybody i'm so sorry i do also feel like ishigan yeah i do feel like as of right now you're in one of the top positions you're in one of the top spaces to get this position um i do feel like there's something else coming in that you could get in this area. Now, I don't know if this is with the same company or another company, but keep like looking, keep looking in that area because I do feel like you are going to have something there. Now, the company that you applied for, if they bring you on, if it's not for this position and a different position, you have to decide if that's what you want. Um, or a different branch than you originally thought. Yeah, it might just be a different branch. I don't know what that means or how that means, but it could be a branch of employment, title, or location. Please keep that in mind. Um, so please understand that. And um, also keep, keep looking in that area and also San Diego. I feel like you will find something in San Diego also if you check out San Diego, okay? I hope that's helpful, Stephanie. And I feel like you're going to love the mm, geographics once you move, okay? Uh, you are welcome. Catherine, you are welcome. Okay. Hey. Uh, Into the Light wants to know. Um, Hi, Tony, do you see success coming? Yes. Um, I'm going to tell you this. The, the statement I'm hearing, not in the way you think. Okay, you're going to have the success. Either it's not going to come in the way you think or the success is not going to be what you think, but it's going to be good and you're really going to like it. You know, sometimes... We get what we want, and sometimes we get better. That's the statement that just came through for you. Sometimes we get what we want. Sometimes we just get better. Okay? So that's what they're saying. I hope that that makes sense to you, and it is helpful. Thank you for the question. Hey, Maria, how are you? You are welcome, Terry T. I'm so happy um, I could be of help to you. Oh, happy birthday, Maria. I hope you have an amazing birthday. Let's see, that would make you Taurus, right? You're right, you're near the end of Taurus because we're going into Gemini season pretty soon, right? I think that's the case. Okay, Joyce, I need some some clarity on that. I need some clarity on what you mean by that. Um, 
please, Joyce, I'm going to scroll down and give you a second to clarify so that you can uh, let me know what you mean by that, because your question is, where is my brother? Uh, and I, I, I just need a little more on that to tap into him. First, first, make sure, Joyce, that you give me his name. Okay. Thank you. Your older brother that passed. Can I, can you please put in his first name, just his first name for me? I just need his first name. That's it. Just a first name, Joyce, if you don't mind. Jimmy. Okay. Okay. So I see a guy with a little bit of a belly at one point. At one point, he had a little bit of a belly. Kind of not always, he, in this image, he looks like he really, either he was not having, he worked and he got really messy while he worked, or maybe at this point he wasn't taking the best care of himself or something like that. He doesn't look like he's being very kept in this image. Please confirm that for me, Joyce, if um, that, that seems accurate, because I want to make sure I have the right person. And in this image, I see him wearing glasses. And I want to know, Joyce, do you want to know, did he go home to heaven? Or is he stuck in transition? Um, or is he around you all the time? Uh, he was, oh, I have a little speck on my computer. He was fit. Okay, then that's not him. I'm seeing, so for whoever this is for out there, I'm seeing a guy who was not so kept, he was very unkept, kind of, I don't like to use this word, but kind of sloppy, and had a bit of a belly on him, wore glasses, thinning hair, just kind of looked like he needed needs a shower and a, you know, whatever. So whomever that's for, if that's for somebody. Okay, um, okay, this is what I'm going to say, Joyce. Your brother spends a lot of time around you, but he also spends time around other people. Did he ascend? Yes. He, he went home. He, right after he passed, he, he didn't immediately go but he went quickly not immediately but quickly and then he bounced his term his words not mine bounced back quickly like went did what he needed to do bounced back and now he hangs around people and Joyce one of the confirmations that he's around you oh my goodness excuse me is caterpillars um, pictures, um, actually seeing them. Um, and again, if you see the word on the side of like, you know, there's those caterpillar like work trucks. If you see the word caterpillar, anything caterpillar, that's one of the signs that he's around you. Another sign is he's saying mockingbird or mockingjay mock, or just mocking mocking so if you're mocking someone someone's mocking someone or the bird or a mocking jay whatever it is any of that is a sign he's around you and um even and now when i say mocking jay it could be from a movie it could be from again be open to tattoos pictures songs um anything that represents that joy i i hope that that helps you and i more than that i really hope that that answers your question i i um you guys i know i didn't say this at the beginning of the show i'm gonna say it now uh if you are asking a question please ask a kind of exact question don't leave it open to my interpretation <laughs> please your own interpretation the exact question about love life career finances any area of your life and then also, um, if you want to connect with a loved one, their first name, 
their relationship to you and their first name. And if you have a question from that for them, or if you just want a message that that helps it to be really good for you guys. Um, Nancy, you are welcome. Oh, it could be see, and they did say caffeine. They did say caffeine right away. That's the one example they gave. Um, uh, okay. And yeah, you know what I'm going to say is get audible and put it a bit away from you and just listen to books. I know people, I know either get the, the actual book paper in hand or listen to it on audible where you can place it away from you a little bit. Okay. And we always have so many electronics around us and it's, we do need that kind of a little bit of a break. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Nancy, for that. Um, uh, Maria, did you, did you already, uh, I don't think you asked a question. Maria, I'm going to do you next. Um, do you think Ben can get more money from the insurance company for me? Please. Sure. Sure he can. We can always get more. How long are you willing to wait? Um, somebody up there is very matter of fact. Very matter of fact. So what I'm hearing for Ben, if, if he wants a little bit more, make sure you're presenting all facts in the case. Like they're using the term statistical facts. Um, so for example, if there's doctors involved, make sure the doctors are being very, very factual and giving, you know, the best answer for you. Um, I do feel like there is a little bit more to be had, but you're going to have to wait that out. Uh, if you're willing to wait longer, that will not be a problem. Let me let me see something. Yeah, I do feel like more will come in. I don't feel like it's going to be a lot more. These things happen in little increments. Um, I'm just strengthening the more right now. Um, I don't feel like you should settle right now. I do feel like they will make another offer. Okay. And that's, that's what I have for you, Maria. I hope that that is helpful. Okay. Juliana, you're, you are so, so welcome. Okay. Stephanie says she asked about going to San Francisco and she says, that's funny because it was originally for Miami and then they passed on me and offered, I think it's, the interview for San Francisco job. Okay, they might they might flip it again. And if they do, be open to that as long as it's a desirable location. But even if it's not a desirable location, once you're in, you can move to your, you can ask them to transfer to your desired location after you've been with the company for a bit. I'm feeling like they're good on that. They won't mind that. And I'm also feeling like they really need bodies in the California area. So I'm hearing San Fernando Valley. I'm hearing San Diego, San Francisco. I don't know if they have offices there, but even if they don't, somebody else might. So keep, keep it open as long as you're good for that. Okay, Stephanie, uh, you're welcome. Into the light, you're welcome. Maria, you're welcome. <laughs> uh, Joyce, we we took care of that. If you do have a question, please post it in the chat. We are doing good on time. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. I'm, I'm getting through, I feel like I'm getting through quite a few people today on the chat with the questions. I love it. Um, oh, you're welcome, Joyce. Very, very welcome. Um, uh, Terry, I'll get to you in a second. I just want to make sure I get through all the people first. Hey, by the way, um, Juliana, thank you so much for subscribing. If you are subscribed, you know every single time I come on and do a show, when I upload my shorts that are healings, you will be notified. So if that's something you care about, please um, 
please do that. Okay. Amy may me. So does my mom or brother have any messages for me tonight? Um, Amy may. Yes. As I said that I heard a thunk. So right there. <laughs> I love it. Um, okay. So I'm hearing a song immediately, Amy May, and the song is I'm all out of love. I'm so lost without you. <laughs> okay, I know it was, is it, I know it was wrong for leaving for so long or believing for so long. I don't know. Whatever it is, that's it. It is what it is. That's what I'm hearing. Um, the next thing I'm hearing, brother, and so I'm guessing your brother is going to speak, but mom concurs 100%. Um, and then I'm hearing the Rod Stewart song, wake up, wake up, Maggie. I, I think the words are wake up, Maggie. I got something I need to say to you. I don't know that I, I'm, if I'm wrong about the, the song, if I'm wrong about the words, then listen to the song and you'll know, but I know it's that that song, um, that one. So here's the mess, the actual verbiage, not with a song. The actual message is, um, um, don't, okay, don't let yourself be caught off guard or yeah don't let yourself be caught off guard nothing bad is coming nothing bad is coming but don't um get i don't know what they mean by this i don't know but um and then the next message that i'm getting for you is a message that you're going to be seeing something soon that you've not seen before. Now I know you, Amy, and you're going to be like, what, what am I going to be seeing? Well, they were going to tell me they would have. <laughs> um, no, I'm, I'm teasing you, love. You're going to be seeing something soon that you haven't been seeing before. And I feel like, I don't feel like it's like an image of your mom or your brother, I feel like it's a very spiritual image that you are going to be catching, you're going to be seeing. And that's why they're saying don't be caught off guard or don't, like when you see this, don't, for, like maybe, I want to say, but like maybe don't feel freaked out about it or, you know, whatever. Just trust it, trust it, trust it. Um, I do feel like you're going to know immediately who the spiritual being is. I'm not allowed to say, um, but you're going to know immediately. And it's a, it is something that it, it's been a long time coming. Okay, so that's what they want to say to you, my love, my friend, my love. Um, so that is what they have for you, Amy. I hope that that is helpful. And they're going to be, um, when, when you see the spiritual being, they will be there with you. And when you see it, it's okay to ask questions now this is not a person in spirit this is a like for example i'm not saying this is what it's gonna be but like if you saw a saint or something it's not a saint i can tell you that it's not a saint mm -mm. it's bigger than that um not that saints aren't big don't come at me folks 
it's something some it's a being that you will recognize immediately okay amy i uh, um and they will be there and you can communicate you can communicate uh don't be caught that's it don't be caught off guard and so shocked that it shuts it down communicate talk have a conversation okay love that's what i'm getting for that i'm gonna go back now and i'm gonna look um yada 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 okay if you asked a question that i did not answer please repost it now and i will get to that question uh while i'm waiting for questions to be posted because i think i went through everybody however sometimes i miss people it's not on purpose or if you posted two questions and you want to ask your second question please pop it in now or if you have a second question now's the time to get them in um i am going to say i'm here every monday at noon every wednesday at 7 p.m central and what else uh, i do have private sessions and um yeah i don't i don't know what else i don't know what you guys i did a blessing today i did like the blessing cards and i thought okay tony you can handle this just shuffle them on air no i could not handle it they flew they, flew. <laughs> they did that's a tick tock Okay, I'm going to go to the next question, who is Joyce. <laughs> Joyce. Um, no, okay, Joyce wants to know, when you said my brother Jimmy bounced back, did you mean reincarnated? No. No, I instantly heard no when I read it. Um, he, he ascended, went home, and then in spirit came back and watches over you. That's why the signs, his confirmations when he's around you are, again, um, cat. I think a caterpillar. I believe it's caterpillar. Um, so that lets you know he's around you in spirit. He's still a spirit. He just went, like when we go home, when we ascend and we go home, or what we call home, then as a spirit or soul, we get to come back and help and watch over and try to like, we can't tell, they we, they can't tell people what to do or how to do it, but they can try to guide you in a way that says, like that voice in your head that leads you in a, um, in a good good way um if that makes sense um they do try to help make your path smoother help you overcome any grief from losing them or anything else in life they try to take your pain and suffering for you our loved ones that pass over when they're on the other side well when they've passed and gone home and then come back they can literally help try to help us um let go of stuff that we have not let go of yet and you can just say i give you permission to take this so when if you're ready you can do that but that that is what i mean by that i hope that explains it do you guys see that light in the back <laughs> that just popped up no lights changed around me that is i love when that happens just love it um okay Thank you for that question, Joyce. I'm going to go to Jules. Um, can I please ask about connecting with a love life partner? I don't have anyone in my life right now. Okay, thank you. When is someone coming in? June, July, and then October, November. Okay, so June, July, someone's coming in. If this person, well, by the, one of two things could happen here. And so June, July is when this person, when a person will come in. And one of the things I realize is sometimes it's not our ever after person, it's our tweener person or a person in between that helps us 
get to the next person or just teaches us more of what we want or don't want or, you know, whatever prevents us from getting with the wrong person in a long term relationship. Um, so when I hear June, July, I feel like somebody's coming in and then I hear the song Summer Loving. So it might be a short. Boom, boom. <laughs> they, are, they are so funny. It might be a short romance. Um, and then I hear October, November, meaning either this person comes in June, July, and you don't really take off until October, November, but I don't think that's it. I think somebody else comes in in October, November, and that's the person. But don't skip the June, July person. Summer loving. Um, had me a blast. Okay. Um, last hurrah sort of thing going on, but don't overstay that welcome. <laughs> don't overstay that relationship, you know, summer loving, summer loving. And, <laughs> and then in October, November, somebody else is going to come in and that has the potential to be the long-term relationship. Now I am going to say this, the summer loving person might be somebody that's only going to be around like they're here for the summer on business or something else. That might be what the summer person is. And you might be okay with that. Okay. Um, I do feel like about two months into this person, you're going to find out something you really don't like about them. And here's why, because you're not supposed to stay with them. You're supposed to have this relationship, this short relationship, and let it go. And sometimes when we see things about a person when it that we don't like, it's not to say, I think I can deal with that. Maybe I can deal with that. Well, that's not so bad. It's to say, okay, this is where we part ways so that I can get to my October, November guy. There is going to be a bit of time between the two people. That's okay. It's it's okay to be to have a little bit of time. The October November guy is going to be amazing and no you can't skip the summer loving guy. You don't have to have with the guy, you know, you don't have to do the but there is something you need to learn from this guy so that when your next October guy comes in um you really appreciate him and how he treats you. That's just what I'm hearing. You have free will. You do what you want. Okay, okay, okay. Let's go to the next person. That was Miss Jules. Miss Jules, you are so welcome. Joyce, you are welcome. Um, Maria wants to know if, oh, I, I have like two minutes, Maria. I think I can do this. Um, if you have time, do you see me buying property this year or next? beginning i think it's going to be next year i think this year you're not going to find on the market what you want in the price you want or need but if you can hold off and do next year and i hear february i heard january but february maybe maybe you start looking in january or something pops up in january closes february or you find it in february i feel like that's going to be really the the prime time for you to do that Okay, my love, this was a phenomenal show. Thank you everybody so much for being here with me. I'm so grateful for all of you. Uh, Lashan, 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 welcome to the show. You guys, I will be back hopefully this weekend. If not this weekend, I will be back Monday at noon to answer all of your questions. Hopefully the, the call log will be open again. I love you all so, so very much.